And only on 7 News, a congressional call for action after a Scripps national investigation exposed federal workers spending money on luxury travel. Scripps national investigative correspondent Mark Greenblatt with the congressman who is stepping in to get answers. When you have agencies that are so arrogant that they do not meet the law and the requirements to file their expenses, it is unacceptable. So Congressman Walter I'm Jones is talking about the slew of federal agencies Scripps News discovered ignoring requirements to disclose taxpayer-funded upgrades to first and business class. You have pointed this out that some of these agencies, it's been three or four years before they file their travel expenses. One of the worst offenders, the Small Business Administration. Records show it went five years without disclosing its taxpayer-funded upgrades. And records we obtained from the General Services Administration show since 09, 54 out of 75 agencies failed to disclose at least an entire year's worth of upgrades. Just two weeks ago, the U.S. House followed up with one, passing a bill requiring NASA to turn in one missing report and correct errors in others. Late Wednesday, after Congressman Jones spoke out, NASA told Scripps it intends to hand over that missing report by the end of the month. But back in 2007, the GAO had singled out the Department of Agriculture as having serious problems, concluding 140 of 145 audited upgrades were not properly authorized, justified, or both. We thought they needed to do better monitoring to ensure they were following the rules. But today, records show ag has skipped out on the last four years in a row of required disclosures, which is why Congressman Jones is writing letters this week to the Inspector General at the USDA, SBA, and NASA, asking when was the last time you conducted an audit and when do you expect the departments to file? The taxpayer has a right to know the cost of the trips. And if we don't give them the information they have a right to expect, we're cheating them. That's unacceptable in this republic. Mark Greenblatt for the Scripps National Bureau in Washington.